Hello everybody and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I will show you how you can model step-by-step -step a modern phone holder in the shortest time possible. So let's get started. For today's drawing we will draw in centimeters. So you can change here if it is in millimeters, inches or something else. We'll start through a new component. So go here, go to new component and write, for example, here, phone holder and then press OK. Good. Now you can see this is the active component. So we can start to draw. Let's create a new sketch, for example, on this plan. Let's go to the right plan to have a better view. And let's start through a new line. So press the L letter and start straight from the origin. We'll draw a line of 8.5 centimeters. Then with another line, we'll go up. We'll draw a line of 7.5 on an angle, so tab, 110 degrees. Good. After that, let's construct a circle. So press the C letter and select here two point circle. Go straight in the left direction and we'll have a diameter of 1.5. Let's go here to tangent. Okay, and now let's create another line. Okay, a line of 5 centimeters, tab 120 degrees. Let's apply the tangent again. And now let's apply coincident. Select the circle, select this point, and here it is. Now another line, so L letter again. Go from this point with two units. Then again a line of 1 centimeter. Good, and here it is. Trim, delete this part, and now let's use the offset command. So select it, drag in this direction with 0 0.35. Now let's close this boundary, so L again. Another line here, okay, and everything seems to be all right. Now let's press the finish sketch press the home icon and let's extrude it with 7.5 enter ok now we'll build a hole through which we can insert the charging cable so click on this plan right click create sketch and let's construct a slot so let's go here slot center to center slot somewhere here this length it will be 4 tab 90 degrees ok and when it comes to this distance, write 1.5. Now let's add some sketch dimension. So press the D letter. And from here to this side, we have exactly half. So we extrude it with 7.5. So now we'll have 7.5 divided by 2. So we exactly in the middle. Let's create now a point exactly in the middle. OK, here it must be. Now let's construct a line straight from the middle. So L. This one, this is the middle, okay. Good, and now let's go to the coincidental, select this midpoint and place it here. You can delete now this line. Finish the sketch, okay, and now let's extrude it. Go here, select this surface and just drag it. The operation is cut, okay, and then press okay. Good, so here it is. After that, let's focus on the next cutting operation. So here we'll create another sketch. So create sketch, go to the front plan. And then let's apply the project command. So press P and select all these lines. Okay, and now you are able to see clearly these points. So rectangle, air letter from here to here, finish the sketch. Extrude, extrude with minus 1.8 until here, as you see. Okay. Here we'll construct another sketch. Right click, create sketch. Let's construct a rectangle starting from here. 1.5 tab 1.5 actually it is a square and here a circle so press the c letter 
two point circle trim finish the sketch extrude it and here we have a little hole left so select it extrude it and here it is let's go back now select this surface right click create a new sketch let's go to the top plan create a rectangle so we are here okay a rectangle with the dimensions 0 0.3 tab 2 let's add now a sketch dimension press the D letter select this line and the other one here we'll have 0 0.5 to be exactly in the middle and in the other side so from here to here we must have 0 0.2 now let's go here to rectangular pattern select all these four lines okay and check this out the quantity 2 okay you can see it now but here we'll write at the first distance minus 4.6 and here minus 0 0.6 and then press ok finish the sketch extrude all four one time and drag it up with 0 0.3 enter now let's add some roundness here so let's go to fillet and select every single edge here And let's write 0.1 and then press OK. Here it is. Now let's get here again with fillet. We'll have 1.5. Let's add another pair here as well. We need the fillet with 0.5. OK. And let's add a physical material or a color. But for this case, we'll just go here, physical material. And let's go to aluminium. And let's choose, for example, aluminium unnoticed red. And here it is. Our foam holder is complete. I hope this video helped you. If you have questions, don't hesitate to let them in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and see you next time.